What's the most cringe-worthy approval-seeking behavior you've ever seen? One of my former friends is boldly, unapologetically narcissistic. Most cringe-worthy recent quote, I can't even eat Italian food in America anymore, because it was so good in Italy. Totally ruined it for me. Sit as loudly as possible at a friend's birthday dinner at an Italian restaurant. Fucking idiot. A while ago, someone I know, made a big show on Facebook that they were pregnant with a new boyfriend that they had only just met. The announcement was a photo of the pregnancy test and she must have been like only a couple of weeks or whatever. This was after she had status up saying that they were trying and everyone was commenting saying you just met the guy, isn't it too fast? A week later, after announcing she was pregnant, it turned out she wasn't pregnant. Phantom pregnancy, incorrect results on test, or very early miscarriage. So she put this status up saying that she was devastated and that she'll never forget Rose and that she loved Rose and that she can't be replaced. No one commented, liked, reacted or anything. Every day for about two weeks she kept resharing her status looking for sympathy and no one gave a fuck. Scary that such immature behavior can come out of a 25 year old. A friend of mine would start to feel left out if he wasn't involved enough in the conversation or if his older brother and friends were having a conversation that he wasn't involved in. He would just start laughing out loud and say oh sorry I just remembered something really funny and keep laughing. Of course he's fishing for someone to ask what he's laughing at so he can start to tell his story or joke or whatever. It was pretty pathetic. Oh wait, that was me in middle school. This girl in high school went around with a piece of paper that represented her self-esteem. Every time someone was mean to her she would tear off a piece. She said it would take 10 nice things for a piece to be taped back on. You can guess how this went. I have a friend that has been engaged with ring and shit included with every boyfriend that she has ever had. Every year she gets a new boyfriend and every year she makes a big show and announcement of her engagement on Facebook followed by dozens of pictures of her with the new guy calling him hubby and talking about the married life and how she feels like she was already married to him. A few months will go by and then we lose track of the guy and her on Facebook. And then out of the blue another one appears and is the same cycle all over again. I swear to god this woman looks like she just likes to collect engagement rings and it's pulling one hell of a prank on all these idiots. No lie, I've seen already 5 engagements, never a single actual marriage date, and always feel sad for every boyfriend that comes along. She also completely adopts the personality of the guy she's currently with. If the guy is a surfer she will become a bleached blonde surfer, if he's a DJ she's will also start jing and talk non-stop about music, if the guy happens to be Russian she will start posting shit in Russian. The current one is a tattoo artist and she's now a pin-up type of girl. This might sound weird, but there's a woman I work with who can't ever just walk away after a conversation. I feel bad for her because her social skills are really poor and I think she's really lonely and that's hard to deal with but she has a habit of walking over to your desk uninvited, sometimes several times a day, hovering on the edge of your vision without saying anything until you look up and start talking to her. She'll do this even if you're on the phone, sometimes for up to 10 minutes when there's no sign of your call finishing anytime soon. When she does get your attention. She doesn't really have much to say, she'll just keep asking variants of how are you, how are you feeling, what are you doing, how's work today, are you busy, and on and on and on. Or she'll have a query that she could have solved by googling it slash asking the person she sits next to slash looking in the stationery cupboard near her desk slash asking the guys that deal with the mail slash reading the email I sent her explaining it last time. She does not know when to leave. She's dreadful with social cues, so even when you've said well, I need to get on now she'll sometimes say oh, of course, and then keep standing there as you turn back to your computer and start typing, and just stand there for 30 seconds or a minute. The most deeply awkward and approval seeking bit of all this is that once you've said bye, see you later she'll start to kind of back away. She doesn't want to walk away and look rude, so she sort of sidles off, smiling at you even as you're typing and paying no attention. Because she really wants you to like her and be her friend. But the bit that kills me is that, even when she's turned her back and started walking off, 
she'll always look over her shoulder and slow down a little a second later, just in case you're going to call her back for more conversation. This might all sound really petty, but this lady decided that I was her friend for a while and she would turn up at my desk up to 6 times a say on top of emailing and messaging me. We don't work together, we have nothing in common. It was all very awkward. I used to receive $20 each week for school lunches. We'd run up this rather long path to the strip mall. Subway, 7 over 11, grocery store, etc and have lunch each Wednesday slash Friday. Being a rather skinny kid who couldn't possibly consume $20 worth of food, would use more than half of it to treat my friends. I like the instant praise I received when I would buy them a slurpee or snack. However I didn't really hang out with anybody after school or get invited to big parties. I was just a rich kid in a pool of leeches. Kids would approach me and ask me to spot them $2, which I happily did, only to 180 and ignore me shorty after. I knew that we weren't all truly friends, but I did, because for that 30 minute session each week I felt accepted. Now I'm in my 20s, realizing I lost a few hundred dollars in middle school, because I wanted to belong. Two of my dearest friends just had their first baby. These two people are the most wonderful people I've ever met. Everyone they love always comes first, and they do everything and anything they can to help, should you need it. She was in labor for almost 40 hours, had a bunch of complications and we were honestly worried for her safety. When her sister arrived at the hospital, 30 plus hours into labor, she walked toward the birthing room, collapsed in the doorway, and had herself a pretty little panic attack on the floor in full fetal position. For no goddamn reason. So my dear friend had to force herself to be strong for her ailing sister, while she was still in active labor. This was in November, and I still want to punch that woman's face. At a Target store in the US, we had a visit from a regional manager to one of our stores. A cashier went out of his way to walk alongside the store manager during the tour with the regional managers almost unnoticed. When they all realized he was walking with them, he blurted out this long-winded story, how I just wanted to come by and let you know that a relative was shopping at Walmart, not me personally, cause I would never shop Walmart. She came by my house in tears and tears at how disgusting the shelves were over there and she promised me she'd never return and will only shop at Target from now on. How's that for a bullsey, eh guys? You could see the stars in this kid's eyes, like he thought his story would lead to some Cinderella moment where the managers would point out his marksy and fast track him to be seer or something. Instead they all slowly cringed back and walked away from the store manager and the cashier. This may make some of you mad, but I'm about to speak my mind on this subject. Person then proceeds to give opinion that 90% of their Facebook friends agree with. I live in NC and right now the HB2 thing is really getting talked about a lot. As someone who is vehemently against it, I see people on both sides declare how brave they're gonna be before praising slash blasting the bill. And it's always just a slew of people agreeing with them. There's a girl who is a refb friend, just a friend request I accepted, to not seem mean. She periodically sends me messages saying she is in love with me, always after a very public breakup with the flavor of the week. If I don't reply quickly enough, she sends nudes. No provocation, nothing. Just sends that shit. She is exactly what people are referring to when they say, don't put your dick in crazy. I have not and shall not. Went to a friend's wedding and got sat to this really annoying chick who wouldn't shut the fuck up about studying optometry. Every time someone brought up a neutral topic she'd always twist it around and loudly remind the group that she was studying optometry. So what TV shows are you guys keeping up with? I don't really watch any TV since I'm caught up in my optometry course talk. Giggles. Any. UHH. Travel plans for this summer? No, it's so tough to make that kind of time, since I'm really close to graduating from the optometry program. We all just started to pretend that she didn't exist. I guess she really had nothing else going on in life. She just kept drawing attention to that, which made it so much worse. Alright this is pretty bad. I have a friend who is pretending to go to college. He is from the Bronx, but lives in my friend's apartment. Even worse, he was kicked out by the landlady, but is staying, since my friends kinda felt bad about what he would do, and where he would go. 
he constantly sleeps in, and says class is cancelled, but we recently logging into his school account on his laptop, and he is officially not a registered student. He constantly says he acing all of his classes, he even leaves the house, to go to his internship for school, even though you have to be a registered student for that very program. He actually works nights. Posts it on snapchat stories and shit, and always says how hard it is balancing everything, on top of going for a master's degree. It's pretty insane. So he is basically lying to his friends and family about going to school, and wasting money on rent, and traveling to and from Manhattan Ball to promote a farce. Actually, just yesterday, I was in first period geometry. This one girl started crying because her little sister wasn't able to go to the zoo and no one else cold gone with her, so she burst out crying and bawling. Then 30 minutes later, she bursts out crying again, because the geometry teacher didn't attend her soccer game. How she made it on the team is beyond me. This is one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of high school so far. <laughs> high school. I remember this one kid who was just dying to be part of the popular crowd. He would do absolutely anything these guys asked. They made him do some really crappy stuff that reflected really poorly on them more than him, but no one else could see it. Made me just feel sorry for the kid. But the cringe-worthy stuff I'd see from him was when they'd be talking and he'd just sidle up to us and just laugh at whatever anyone said. Laughed first and loudest and just looked around at everyone's faces as if trying to suck in the happiness from everyone else. Our student teacher in high school tried way too hard to be our buddy. The worst is, when we were supposed to be learning about the samurai of Japan. The back of the class started beatboxing, and tapping out the rhythm to go, ninja, go ninja go. He just smiled at first, but we eventually cajoled him into doing the rap, and dancing for us. Then our real teacher came in, told the student teacher, to take a seat in the hall, and taught the rest of the lesson himself. We never saw nor spoke of our student teacher again. Remember those twins that tried so hard to finish each other's sentences that they could barely talk? Yeah. My cousin has a 7 year old, and it would be an understatement to say that this kid is not the best and the brightest. Same goes for my cousin. You know the type she's always putting up a front trying to sound intelligent posting pseudo-scientific articles on Facebook and loudly bragging about what a huge atheist she is, and what a big nerd she is, and how much she reads etc. Recently she has started taking her kid into bookstores and posing him with different books like textbooks way beyond the reading level of a 7 year old then taking a picture to post to Facebook with a caption like Anthony picked this advanced quantum theory book up all by himself and won't let me take it away from him. My boy is so smart. It's too bad because in reality he has a serious eye problem that makes it so he can't read and probably needs to be in special ed for some learning disabilities. She's doing him no favors, but would rather put on a social media show than be a parent.